so I'm not here today. I'm also doing a thing. So today, for surface design, you guys are finishing up your vases for your paper vase piece. These things. Now, for the paper vases, make sure that you're using plenty of glue so that it's adhered properly together. Uh, you have those binder clips um, over there by my gray cabinet uh, so to hold the pieces together so if they are starting to come apart they're not sticking adequately use the binder clip to hold the, the piece in place as you're gluing and working together uh, and then just move it up periodically as you're working that way it should hold it together a little better next uh, the, you have a worksheet also to work on which is your comic storyboard worksheet it's what it's titled um, what you guys are using this for is to create your character mobile ornament now for this ornament piece that you guys are making, you're going to have six different tiles. Uh, you're actually going to have 12. Uh, you're going to cut six by six squares out of the big white sheet of paper like so. Fold in half, fold into thirds. Uh, we have rulers in the back to make sure that they are sound. Uh, it's a 12 by 18 paper, so cut it in half and then slice it in three sections. Um, use the ruler to measure. Then you're going to cut it. Uh, just use the scissors or you can tear it in place give it a nice deckled edge which is a, that torn edge looks good uh, what you're going to use is you have six pieces one for the bottom front back sides and the top that's the body of the of the ornament itself you're going to use the remainder six pieces uh, four pieces have to go inside of the ornament but You've got two extras for backup because sometimes you'll do the illustration, you'll do a miscut, you'll need a backup, you can put it on there. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to lay out that story in the storyboard worksheet. So you're going to label, write down who the characters are that you're employing, where's the setting of where this, this thing is taking place, uh, any other attributes or figures that you need to put in there. And then go ahead and start drawing out the scenes that you're going to put into each cell. So as you're cutting through that you know exactly what you're going to draw on those. And then go ahead and start working on the drawing application of this. Now next week when I'm, when I'm back we're going to get exactos and we're going to cut out the negative spaces and just leave the positive elements so that as we're looking at your design you can see the positive transferring back uh, each element in that image to create one overall image and you can see that by the subtracted negative space. There's our element aspect that we're getting into. Uh, if you guys have questions, as always, shoot me an email. Happy to help you out, and I'll get to you as quickly as I possibly can. Um, I don't know what internet access I'll have, but, uh, but I'll work with you. All right, good luck. If you guys got questions, I'll see you, as always, next class. Later.